right kids, so today we're going to learn how to make our own mason bee house. So remember when I had you go out and find that knotweed on your scavenger hunt? This is some of the knotweed, uh, after, this is how it looks after it's dried out. So you can see that it's really hollow on the inside. Um, and you can see that these bigger stems have a little bit more capacity to hold a bee in there. So we have a whole bunch of different sizes here. I want to show you the different types of bee houses that you can make. So this is one of those uh, frames so that you can just uh, make a wooden frame and you really all you do is just fill it until you can't uh, fill any more knotweed stems in the frame. So you could do it this way. This you may need a uh, parent to help you with. You can also purchase or create your own mason bee house without a frame, but you could drill your own holes directly in it. These are available at our conservation district office. Um, and we sell them every year for our plant sale. But this is another option that you can do for Mason Bee House. But the easiest way you can do it, and the one you guys are gonna make, is very simple. So what you're gonna do is take your knotweed that you collected. Remember, you'll want it to be dried out. And basically, this is a container. So this is just a Gatorade bottle, and we cut the very top off. So there's a closed backing, and there's an opening for those bees to enter. So all you do is you fill this bottle as tight as you can with knotweed stems. And you might need some scissors to cut them out and just to make sure they all fit together. So you'll pack this real tight and then all you have to do is come over with some string. You can tie it around your box and hang it uh, somewhere off of maybe your garage or off of a local tree that you have and then just keep watching it Once in a while you'll start seeing some bees hang out there and as you start seeing them fill this with uh, dried leaves and mud um, You'll notice that they're gonna start making some homes for their babies And again, there's that pollination happening where they're that extra pollen that they feed to their babies This is where they'll be taking it. So I hope you guys have fun uh, building your own bee houses and I'd love to hear how they all turn out